River City Girls on Steam Deck, so why am I testing this game today? Well, it's free right now at the time I'm making this video on the Epic Game Store. I happen to have gotten it on Steam last week, I think it was. It's unsupported, but we're going to talk about that in a moment. If you have it on the Epic Game Store, make sure that you have Decky Games and in the Epic Game Store, once you log in, in this case, here it is, hit install. And after you install it, you'll have it in your library all the way over here in non-Steam. After you hit play, it'll show up in your normal library over here. So in this case, it's this one. But again, I have it on Steam. This is just to show you. But this game is not exempt of issues on Steam Deck. So go to Manage, Properties, and in Compatibility, make sure a lot of people are recommending Proton 6.3 which is the correct one to use. But unfortunately, the cutscenes uh, don't have the video codec to be played with this one. So I ended up using Proton GE, the latest one. And this gave me cutscenes with audio sync issues, but at least the cutscenes now play. Otherwise, you have a black screen. Once you get into the game, hit new game, go to the bottom here to settings, and you'll see that the resolution is 400p and it's using the entire screen, which is what we wanted. But unfortunately, you have cropped UI if you have it like this. So the only way to play this properly with all the UI intact is to actually play at 16 by 9. So hit 720, hit B, then hit A, and the game will be in 16 by 9. We select the character. You can play co-op, couch co-op on this one. There's no online, but as you can see, the cutscenes play with this Proton version. I'm going to skip ahead. And here we go. The best thing about this game is that it uses basically no resources. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately you have the black bars from being 16x9 plus black bars that the game itself puts. It's more of a... Yeah, if you can see the health bars, it's made more in a way to have a wider FOB. I'm pretty sure because there should be two players. But you can play on your own, that's what I've been doing. But I played this game a while back when it came out. Now there is like two other games in this franchise, as far as I remember. But I remember this game out of the blue and bought it on Steam. <laughs> and then it was given away for free on the Epic Game Store. So I was like, okay, I have to make a video about this one. Runs great on basically anything. And on the Steam Deck, you get very long battery life out of this one, especially if it's locked to 60. The only issue is that audio desync in cutscenes and, uh, well, the black bars at the top and bottom. Otherwise, your text will be cropped, as you can see there in the subtitles. If we left it at 400p like before, we wouldn't be able to read the entire thing. It would be cropped. So yeah, the game by itself already has black bars. But I love this game because it's a beat-em-up like from the past in that regard. It reminds me a lot of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the video game, and uh, the Simpsons arcade game. And now that it's on the Epic Games Store, at least this week, it's being given away for free. I'm like, okay, I have to show this game on Steam Deck. It's ideal for the smaller screen. And, well, to play a lot of hours if we're into that, or connect a controller or play with somebody else. Alright, so we're now in the smaller screen. And we're on the Steam Deck OLED, so you can play at 90Hz, no problem. If you want a bit more battery life, lock it to 60, but really, I mean, it's not like life or death. You can also use the D-pad to move around. And again, you can play with another person if you connect another controller. But if you like beat-em-ups, this is, in my opinion, a fantastic way to experience this one. Zero RPM on the fan, <laughs> and at least seven and a half hours of battery at 90 fps you can always lock it to 60 if you want more battery life but already the battery is just basically pulling eight watts considering the screen and the rest of the the cpu the screen the ssd <laughs> this is a, a perfect micro sd card game i would say it's like four gigabytes once it's installed Again, I'm playing the Epic version. In comparison to the Steam version on Steam Deck, at least, 
There is achievements on the Steam version, the cloud saves, and well, that's basically it. You don't need a plugin on the Steam version, but you do need the latest Prods on GE to get the cutscenes working properly. Because the codex for the cutscenes, they cannot put them on official Valve Proton. Because they are not owners of those codex, unfortunately. They would need to pay a royalty. Again, using Proton GE is recommended, so you don't miss those interesting cutscenes. Otherwise, the story doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But again, it's a great beat em up. Going to that sort of thing. But what bothers me personally is the black bars at the top and bottom. The game itself already has those, but they are even bigger black bars due to the fact that the game only plays at 16 by 9 And well, now the principal basically wants <laughs> the rest of the students to kick our asses. So that's the kind of... That's a very Japanese game, let's be honest. <laughs> I find it hilarious. The story is also pretty funny, and the dialogue. Yeah, the game doesn't take itself seriously, which is what matters in this case. But basically the principal wants them to beat us down, so everybody tries to attack us. <laughs> okay, more people from the high school are attacking us. Perfection. The principal must be very angry at us. But that's okay. Now we beat the cheerleaders, don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, I'll s if you're just hearing audio from this video, it might sound very weird. But trust me, it's a great game. Okay, cutscene is about to load, and the cutscenes are loading. But sometimes the audio can be wrong or out of sync. So keep that in mind. But with this Proton GE version, it seems to be working completely fine. Just some audio issues with the cutscenes. But at least the cutscenes are visible, unlike with the normal Proton. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did revisiting this game that I honestly forgot it existed. I remember it last week, I bought it on Steam and now it's being given away for free on the Epic Games Store. So yeah. Perfect for Steam Deck, lots of hours of battery, just make sure to have the latest products on GE and the junk store to install the epic version that you probably got after watching this video, you better. And if you have somebody to play it with, dock it to a screen, put it on 1080p and you'll be good to go. This game runs on a potato. Thank you guys, thanks for watching!